All right, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little prelude to our new release video. Today we've got Bowman Inception 2022, so it looks like it's going to be a good product. I picked these up from my local card shop today and used my buyback redemptions to, to get them. So I did not get these from my distributor, but um, I actually wasn't offered them, so... I ended up running over to the LCS today, and luckily I did before the snowstorm comes. We're getting ready to get hit pretty hard here. We're in uh, Michigan, <clears throat> southern to southern uh, mid-Michigan, and um, looks like we're going to get um, 5 to 10 inches. Who knows? It just started, which is sad news because I was slated to go to a big card show tomorrow and uh, display some of my wares. Here's the odds for the new product. We're looking at per 16 box case here. And you can see the orange, which is numbered to 25. You're going to get one in every case. So that's sort of what we're looking for in our first uh, series of boxes that we open. Hoping that we can get the case hit um, without having to open up the case, right? <laughs> that is the hope. All your good stuff can come along the way, but for starters, the case hit is where you, what you want to do. So, uh, first look here, Bowman Inception, seven cards in each pack. It's a blue, looking like a sapphire type, royal blue uh, sapphire type uh, foil pack. It's pretty cool. It says Major League Baseball on it. And we're going to have, once again, here... Some information on the pack. Interesting, interesting. Don't recall seeing that on a whole lot of packs here. This top doesn't make any uh, re representations whether its cards will attain any future value. Tops is authorized only the packaging distribution of the number of sequentially numbered and or hand numbered on the card, but cannot guarantee that counterfeit or other unauthorized cards will not exist hmm that is a little crazy to me um they put out the product why can't they guarantee we're gonna have a short mail day after we open a few of these boxes see what we can get just to let you know and we'll examine these cards and see what they're like for our first look here blaze jordan of the boston red sox it's a nice uh, museum-style finish, thickness as well, if you notice the thickness on these cards. And we take a first look here at the back of the card. First baseman. Tells you when he was drafted. And his uh, 2021 um, statistics, stats. So that will be just obviously a base card. Numbers are really tiny right up there. And then we move on. <clears throat> Saul Freelich. Some of these people we may not know. Here's our number to 99. Which is going to be more prevalent than the case hit, obviously. His name is Gunnar Hogland. Everybody named themselves Gunnar for the, uh, in that era for their kids to become Major League Baseball players. Here's our autograph. William Bergola, so we must have an autograph in each box, at least one. Two autographs in each box, take that back. Two autographs, so we've got one number to 200 here of William Bergola. Let's take a look at the back of that autograph card. Let me give you a good idea right there. And Isaac Pacheco. Detroit Tigers, number to 75. It's got a nice looking autograph there. And so that card was numbered as well. This is base. We're just going to open up a couple of these boxes, give you a little look at it here. See if we can score one of the big cards out of the the set and then we'll move on 
I'm really torn about this card show. It's three and a half hours away, but it's a huge show. But the problem is, and I'm, my thoughts are that if I go to the card show and I weather out the storm, how many other people are going to be like me and do the same thing? Or are they just going to say, we'll just catch the next one and we're not going out in this weather? You see, that's the problem. It's not just me getting there. It's me getting there and looking at some people. I need to look at some people if I'm going to sell any of my stuff. I just, you know, 100 to 300 to 500 at a card show isn't going to cut it anymore. And this show is pretty spectacular. It's famous. It's called Shipshawana. The Shipshawana Card Show is what it's called. Here's a Willie Vasquez. Tampa Bay number to 99. Colton Kowser, I think this is a good one here. Orioles had a lot of good uh, picks. I don't know who's the top card in this. I have to do some research. Tell me in the comments if you know. Colton Kowser, I believe, is one of the top 10, though. Marcelo Mayer, I can guarantee you, is one of the top picks. And we got a number to two, a number to 200 of Marcelo Mayer. Now, I can guarantee you, Marcelo Mayer is a huge. Uh, hit in this uh, set. So pretty happy about that. Oscar Colas is the other one, and Khalil Watson for sure as well um, are the few of the outstanding um, prospects in this set. But I know Mayer is uh, definitely one that is desired. We're going to um, see what we got here. You know what? I've got some um, thick sleeves here, and I've got... I should have some thick top loaders because we want to protect this card right off the bat. Not too bad on thickness. This is a thick, thicker card loader, though. I've got a lot of um, thick top loaders right here. I think this one will work. Happen to have some right next to me. I think this one is going to be perfect for that. thing about this card is, you know what? This might not even have to go in a thick... I got, I'm losing space with using this thick... Um, so I can use a regular one in this card and probably get, get away with it. See, it'll fit in there. Then I won't have so much extra room taking up in the, uh, top loader there. There we go. Perfect. Marcelo Mayer. Nice, nice hit. There, I'm putting away these thicks for now. I'll pull them out later. We'll get these sleeved up and stuff off of air. Jose Ramos. This is a special card here, and it has something here. Initiation 1. I don't know if this means it's his first card or what. It might mean. It might be like the Bowman first, but it's in Initiation on here. Carlson Williams. Cold... So what a box that was. One box yielded us, I know, two stars right there. <clears throat> These are 150 a box if you're buying them, more or less. Um, that's what I paid. Tops had them. That's right. Tops did have them available for sale today at 165 I don't buy from Tops a whole lot anymore. Unless I absolutely have to on the cheaper Tops exclusive stuff. I found out that I can usually get this stuff faster and more less expensive just going to the local card shop. I have two local card shops, and um, one or the other is going to hook me up with this, or sometimes both if it's a hot product that I really want. Um, we did well, but I think what we're going to do, since we did so well, let's take and burn another $150 here and take a look at one more box and see what we can find. I really think that I've got some top echelon so far in this box, so I don't know that I need to open up any more, but I'm going to just so we can have a little more content and you can get a little more idea of what's in these cards. So this is also a first of uh, De, San De Los Santos. Henry Davis. Another Marcelo Mayer. Nice. This is sweet. I've got... I'm a little bit concerned now that I might have the Marcelo Mayer box. 
Marcelo Mayer of the Red Sox, and I know he's one of the top prospects in this set. So this is not an autograph card, but it sure is a nice parallel. 99 of 99 from Ms. Marcelo Mayer. And next we're going to look at our autos. We've got a real short print auto here of Daniel Vasquez, number two of five. So I'm very, very happy that I opened up this uh, this last final box here because this is numbered two of five, and it's an autograph. Now, don't know who Daniel Vasquez is myself. I'm going to find out really quick, though, of how much money a number to five Daniel Vasquez uh, prospect autograph is. So before we do that, let's go to the second card here. Let's just do a quick reveal there. Max Muncy is the next one. So that's probably not as strong as any of these other cards. And the, um, the, the Muncy card. This is crazy right here, though. The Daniel Vasquez. Max Muncy. Oakland Athletics. Very nice. Let's get this in a sleeve as well. <clears throat> now the mail day is going to be pretty exciting today, I feel. Um, there'll be some, we'll start low and we're going to end on a high. So please stay with us for the whole video. A lot of people have mentioned that they like the mail days. So I keep building up my stock with the mail. These are both first right here. Initiation first. Trey Sweeney and uh, Noel. So a lot of people are just expressing that they like when I do the mail day. So I'm going to keep doing them. And we'll start off light and we'll end strong. I have an idea what's in certain boxes, but not for sure. So let's start off here. And like I said, stay. make sure you stay tuned to the end. It's going to get good. Though it might start off a little bit light here. And some of this we won't even... Well, this we will open up a little bit because I've been buying some of these home run derby cards and or home run challenge cards. I sort of like to play the game. And um, it's like last year. If you wait till the end of the year and have a bunch of cards left of your hot player, such as Aaron Judge, you can score a really nice, valuable card. Same thing would have been for Albert Pujols if he had one, you know. I also like the rookie um <clears throat> The rookie selections here, which is Riley Green, Adley Rushman. I like to have his home run cards too because what happens is you take these cards and you scratch off the code and you predict the game 24 hours beforehand that they're going to hit a home run and you enter that code onto Top's website and tell them that you feel he's going to hit a home run. There's a double down challenge on it that if you double down and he hits a home run, the home run has to be 400 and some feet, 425 plus feet to win the special edition card, which is less um, lower numbered and more rare. So, okay. Here he put an invoice in his. I bought, I bought a bunch of these. Um, I was also giving them away with my sets that we built here. So... Um, the real hard cards to find in here in these sets I already know who's in the sets when I buy them but the more valuable ones that people will sell separately and don't include in their sets are, are Judge, Trout, Otani, Rodriguez, Julio that is um, is there any other Rodriguez? Yeah. So Told you it was going to start off slow. See, I have been buying up some of these. And um, I was buying them and getting a pretty good deal. And I think other people got in the bandwagon on them. And they started buying them. So I don't think that the deal is as strong now on those. We got more competition bidding. You can I was bidding on auctions and getting these for a very inexpensive price. And like I said, when you scratch it off and 
guess the right game that they're going to hit a home run. And you get a bonus card that is numbered. I've got them before for last year's. This has got several in it. Here's an Otani. So those Otanis are worth a lot more. So Otani and Correa for the season starts. I'll sort all these out into individual players and start tracking players for their home runs. These cards, this guy stuffed this in here really, really tight. Okay. These possible cards could be of a little value too if you keep it with the home run card that you receive. So that's the Otani. That is a nice one there. More definitely more valuable. The judges are more valuable. Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso and Alvarez, I think, is going to be a good one to have this year. Both of those will be home run uh, candidates, I, I feel. So, I know I hate to bore you with the home run challenge thing, but I'm hoping that I can open up a bag here and that we might have something else other than that, but <laughs> I'm not going to count on it. I know I did buy a lot of those in the last couple of weeks. We won't open up this one. This is a thick stack. This is 38, I believe, on that one. Like I said, the Judge and the J-Rod, they're in that one. And um, yeah, I did really well with those ones. Now, this person sent these into a pack in a plain white envelope. And that was pretty thick, and I can't believe they got through with that. Oh, here we go. This is fan mail of my friend, Doogie, Brad. Thank you so much for the re reciprocation. I wanted this Riley Green that he had opened in some of his um, tw uh, 2023 um, product uh, series one that he was opening. And I seen him open it on his uh, channel, and... Uh, I said, hey, I'd like that card, and here, lo and behold, I have it. And he went the cheap route in sending it, but it got here right. Thanks, Brad. Doogie's Dugout channel on um, YouTube. Check it out. He's got some good content. Does a lot of uh, nice short videos. Of Always has the new products pretty much as well. And I do enjoy watching his channel. Now here are the big boys. These are big boxes here. And these are going to be sure to impress. These boxes are loaded and stuffed and they're heavy. And they came from Tops. So I know that there's some kind of autograph fulfillment that wasn't ready in the past. And now it was. So it's come uh, finally got autographed and then they sent them out. So this box particular has three. And I got a quick idea. I know what these are, but I haven't seen them yet because I have been waiting to open them. So I'm going to show you what they are. And this is pretty cool. The other thing about these is we could also have low numbered um parallels which we don't know yet until we open them that's the thing about the tops now autos on these postseason sets is what this is they could be they could be any number they're not just base they're definitely going to be numbered too there's two Road to opening day on Tops now. If you're aware of what that is, it's going to be released any time now. I'm ex expecting next Thursday. And if you're a fan of the World Baseball Classic, keep on a lookout for that as well. Tops now will do some special autograph series cards and some other cards of the the different teams in the World Baseball Classic, and it'll end up being pretty exciting stuff to collect for your favorite players. 
This is a red. This is number to 10, and it is Vladimir Guerrero, number to 10. Number 6 of 10. That's just crazy that we got a number 10 of Vladdy. Wow. Very, very nice there. So I wanted to get these opened up before I go to the show in Shipshawana because I'd want to put these out on my table and sell them. Here we go. Alex M Manoa. Alec Manoa, number two, five, number two of five. This is just huge. Very, very short. Number two of five of the Manoa. Wow. Now, the next one is going to be George Springer. I almost said Jerry Springer. Next one's going to be George Springer because I know how they ship these, and they give me one of each autograph in a set, which is Vladdy, Manoa, and Springer. So the third card is definitely going to be the Springer. And this is a base one, not numbered except for 99. It's base, which is the base, number 99, because there was only this many sets made and sold. But that's even a nice card there, George Springer. I have a number 10 of George Springer, which was the blue, if you or the red. I have the red George Springer, if you remember, that I opened up on one of my last videos. Um... But it's pretty cool to open those and then see which parallels you get. You're not really guaranteed parallels. It's just random, I think. That was a really good box right there, considering I got a 2 of 5 of Manoa and a number of 10 of Laddie. Super. I bought a lot of these. I mean, I think for the amount of the set with the auto, that I would just get them and take the gamble on it and see what I can pull from it. Um, Canadian Blue Jays cards are a little bit harder to sell uh, here because of shipping through international and stuff. So less people will are willing to pay for that extra shipping to go the global shipping, I believe, on eBay. But I do have some, I do have some customers that I've sold to over there. Our great neighbors in the north. So this is going to be the same three guys. However, we're hoping that it will be some good short prints like the ones we just got. All right, there we go, and let's start it up here. One of each of those players is what we're going to be looking at here. This is a blue, flatty blue, number to 49. Very nice there. To 49. This is number 99, Manoa. And what is our Springer going to be? First box was our best. Springer is a number to 25. George Springer, number to 25. So a lot of ink here with those. If any of you are fans of any of those cars there, let me know. I'd be happy to... Uh, sell some of those as I can't collect as that many. Um, but yeah, when they go on sale and they're out there, I sort of I just buy them. If I don't buy them, somebody else will. So I believe this is the last one <clears throat> yes it is this is the last box so we'll have our last final three here and I'm gonna get those Bowman inception cards listed right away I want to take advantage of that right away especially considering the hits we got it's hard to find a track record on those guys but I think they've already had 
some of their cards out. I know Kowser has, and I think Mayer was in some of the uh, other products that were already released as well. So you can sort of get an idea of what the value is of those cards by looking at other performance in the other sets and uh, price accordingly from there. But most of those will probably go on auctions just to see what the um, max I can get rid than to cut myself short. All right, let's get started. Here's the first one, and it is Springer, base to 99, number 92 of 99 on the Springer. And this is a purple, it is Alec Manoa to 25. Very nice there if I didn't show you the backs. Tops does a really nice card with the encapsul uh, job with the encapsulation on this card and such. And our last is going to be a Vladdy. What can it be? You can get one of, there's a one of one in this set too. We don't have it. We're going to get the, to number 49. Number 14 of 49, Vladimir Guerrero. So that is it for our mail day. And our Bowman Inception in introduction. I thank you for watching. Tell me what you think of this brand new product. And uh, in the comments, let us know. And we'll see you next time. Have a good evening.